If you are having recurrent daily headaches or facial pain that is worse while bending down, don't think this is only migraine or tension headache, especially if you are also having cold symptoms. This might be sinus headache from a sinus infection or called acute sinusitis. My name is Dr. Amir. Acute sinusitis is inflammation in the lining of the nose and the sinuses. It is a very common condition, with over 90% of the cases caused by a virus and not bacteria, which means you don't have to take antibiotics for every sinus infection. As you know, antibiotics don't kill viruses. So what are the symptoms? It is common to have a blocked nose with either clear, yellow, or green mucus, with headache or pain in the forehead, which might get worse when bending down. Sometimes there is ear pressure, fever, or loss of smell. It is very challenging to know if the sinus infection is caused by a virus or bacteria. In general, if the nasal discharge is clear or light yellow, the infection might be from a virus. And if it is dark yellow or green, then it might be from a bacteria. A lot of times, the infection starts with a virus, then it can get complicated by a bacterial infection later. Also, it's very important to differentiate sinus infection from the common cold. Several times, patients might have a common cold, then the infection can spread to the sinuses. In general, common cold is always caused by a virus and it is very rare to have headaches or facial pain. Typically, the symptoms of common cold are runny nose, sneezing, sore throat or cough, but never with fever. Potential causes for sinus infections are allergy, smoking or upper tooth infection. Also from swimming, air travel or deep sea diving. For the treatment, we normally give nasal decongestions analgesics for pain, and allergy medications. Antibiotics are given only if bacteria is suspected and not for viruses. It should normally be given for at least 10 days. In case you are not getting better or having recurrent symptoms, you might have chronic sinus infection. So it is recommended to consult an ENT doctor. Please share this video with your friends and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Until I see you again, I would like to wish you happy, healthy life.